Hello, and welcome back to the Simplifiers podcast, where the secret to life is all about simplifying both your work and your life, and in fact, doing less in life in order to thrive. On Fridays, we release a short bonus episode highlighting a super thought of the day. These mini episodes will help you spark new ideas, new ways of thinking, or simply challenge old beliefs that you might have. And today, I want to answer the question that I get over and over again from my private coaching clients. So how exactly do you pitch yourself to be a guest on a podcast? Well, excellent question, my friend. Here are my five simple tips on how to make it happen. And who knows, maybe we'll hear you on the Simplifiers podcast one day in the near future. So step number one, you've got to do a little bit of research. If you're a business looking to get more exposure for your brand or a writer who's wanting to spread the word on your newly published book, your very first step is to do a bit of research on what podcast your ultimate ideal clients actually listen to. No, when I say ultimate ideal client, what I mean are the people that you would love, love, love to work with as clients and in turn are also the people who would love, love, love your product or services, like a match made in heaven kind of thing. So research the top 10 podcasts that they listen to and start compiling a list. Create a spreadsheet that includes their URL, their address, as in their email address, And if you don't have that, maybe their contact page URL, their Twitter handle, and like the Kevin Bacon test, like how many degrees of separation are you from them? As in, do you know someone who maybe knows them? Once you've got your list made, then here's what you need to do next. You subscribe to a few podcasts at a time and listen to their one or two of their most popular recent episodes. This will give you a real sense of the type of topics they like to cover and the type of special guests they invite on. I want you to ask yourself, would I bring value to this podcast audience with my specific area of expertise? And if not, no biggie. Don't bother pitching them. Save your time. Move on to the next podcast on your list. And if yes, well, jackpot, you've got something pitchable. Now move on to step number two. Step two. Make friends and bring value. You might think that the next step is to send them a pitch email, but if you did that, you've got pretty much a 99% chance of it totally hitting their spam folder. Remember, you're in the long game when it comes to this stuff. So instead, friend them on Instagram. Start a conversation with them by liking and commenting on their posts. Leave a comment here and there. Say like, I don't know, once every two weeks on something in their Insta stories. Now, Friends, don't be a stalker, that's weird. (laughs) But maybe figure out a way to bring them value either by mentioning them and tagging them in your own Instagram feed or by introducing them to an influencer that they want to get connected to in your network. But the bottom line is, cold pitches never work. Get to know them, add value where it's possible, but in a non-creepy way, and be patient. You're doing the thing and warming them up for when it's time to pitch which is step three. It's time to draft up your pitch. Look, this is where keeping it simple and succinct is super important. Podcasters get hundreds of emails every single day from people pitching their stuff and you just need to be on target and to the point. Assuming you've spent the time to get to know their podcast, their voice, and aren't emailing them out of the blue, you're ready to send over an email that might read something like this. And by the way, click the link in our show notes to see all of this copy that you can copy and paste and make your own. So the email might read something like this. Hey, fill in the name. My name is, put your name there. And I love what you're doing with your podcast. I especially enjoy the episode with blank about blank as it gave me a real aha moment when it comes to blank. You and I have something in common. We both love blank. If you're looking for a special guest who's an expert on blank, I'd love to be considered. Here are three ideas we could chat about on your show. Bullet point this out. Idea one, idea two, idea three. And if you've been interested in having me on, let's chat. I've been featured on 
you know, maybe insert a reputable podcast or articles you've been featured in, like Huffington Post, Forbes Magazine, whatever, but only if it's true. And I look forward to sharing this episode with my fans and email list. Thanks again, chat soon, and then sign off with your name. Remember, keep this email short and sweet because, let's face it, nobody reads stuff these days, right? And here's a pro tip. You might also want to hyperlink to your LinkedIn profile if you've got a reputable track record of work in your career. There, people can quickly see who you're linked to and, hey, you never know, maybe there's a mutual contact and see what testimonials other people have written about you. Which leads us to step number four. How to follow up without feeling annoying. Now, listen, don't be discouraged if you don't hear back immediately. The average reply rate on cold emails is somewhere right around 1% to 3%, so it's A-OK. And remember, the longer you invest in time up front to warm this lead up, the better. Again, don't be creepy, you guys. <laughs> but I would suggest tracking your last data communication in your spreadsheet. Always starting with your hottest leads first and then work your way down the list. Which are the ones that are most likely to respond fastest? Which are the ones that are maybe newer podcasts that are likely to be looking desperately to book guests and find them fast? Which ones just got listed as new and noteworthy on Apple Podcasts? They're likely to be people who are great marketers, which means that lots of people will tune into their earlier episodes, and if you get on, your episodes will be heard by lots of people. You know, treat this process of following up like you would with your sales funnel. Spend the first hour of every morning working on this stuff, and follow up three to four times, only like once per week, don't get crazy, and update your spreadsheet. Really take a strategic approach to this stuff. And remember, the topic might not be right that you're pitching to them. It might just be that the timing's off. Or maybe she's had too many people recently on that are chatting about that same topic right now. So no hard feelings. Just flag it and circle back with that podcaster in three to six months if that's the case. But don't be pushy, you guys. Just be consistent in your follow-up approach. Be friendly be of value, and be nice. That's pretty much my mantra for all things in life, but especially for this. Be friendly, be of value, and be nice. And lastly, step number five, how to utilize your network to expand your reach. I'm willing to bet you're part of about 40 or 50 private Facebook groups right now. Am I right? Well, if so, I'm also willing to bet there are podcasters who are also members of those group as well. What a perfect spot to build a relationship with them. And here's how you can do it. You simply write a post that says something like this. What are your favorite podcasts that you love to listen to? And then see who responds. Most people will list off their favorites, but then some will also mention, hey, I have a podcast too. It's called so-and-so. And voila, you've now figured out who's a podcaster in that group. Reply back with something like this. Cool. I've subscribed and I'm going to check it out. Or something like that. And make contact. Now, side note, you must actually do the thing and actually listen to their podcast. Don't lie here, folks. <laughs> but then follow up on that post later down the line and reply back with something like this. Wow, I listened to the episode on blah, 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 and really loved it when you said blah, blah, blah. It shows them that you're listening and that you actually appreciate their work. Don't forget to tag them in that reply comment so they see it. And boom, you're no longer a cold contact, but now a valued listener and comrade. There you go. Also, I encourage you guys to check out podcastguests.com. Here you can get on their email list for absolutely free and find out what podcasts out there in the world are looking for specific topic experts and when. And just one final whisper, just from me to you, dear friend, come in closer. People want to hear your voice. They want to learn from you. And I bet there's something, just one thing, that your very best girlfriends know that you are the go-to girl for. Whether it's, I don't know, advice on baking cakes or managing interns, planning the very best Disney vacation, 
Or maybe you're a superstar at customer service. There's a podcast out there that desperately wants to talk to you and share your message with their audience. So if you're feeling a bit shy or timid or totally overwhelmed by all this stuff, let me be the first to squish that thought. You are a bright, shiny star, and the world needs to hear your story. You can do this. I believe in you. It's time to simplify. If this thought of the day inspired you, snap a photo of you doing the thing and send it to me via Instagram, either privately or publicly. Just tag the simplifiers and I'll be your virtual accountability buddy in your quest to simplify your life. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more of this awesome goodness coming to you automatically on Tuesdays and Fridays. And by the way... If you're wanting to nominate yourself or someone you know to be a special guest on the Simplifiers Podcast, make sure to visit our website, thesimplifierspodcast.com. That's thesimplifierspodcast.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the button that says nominate yourself or your favorite hero. Fill out the form and boom, your name is in the running. Phew, that was so simple. Our team reviews each and every single one of the nominations we receive on that form. So thank you guys for taking the time to send it in. And as always, friends, keep things simple. Mm -hmm.